hello friends my name is shalendra i am very happy to see you on my channel and uh, if you are visiting first time then please uh, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press notification bell if you like this video please do click like button and share it with your friends so guys thanks for your support let's learn something new today <laughs> So why smart pointers? Uh, so first point is uh, we have lot of uh, disadvantage uh, disadvantages of raw pointers. Uh, second point uh, we have uh, smart pointers provide one special techniques. Uh, name is resource acquisition is initialization or R A I I. We will uh, take a letter. Uh, third point is. Uh, we have three types of smart pointers so they are specific for uh, specific needs now for four point is uh, smart pointers are the object that behave like a pointer but somehow very smart so now we will look into all these uh, disadvantages of raw pointers so they are less informative its uh, declaration doesn't uh, indicate whether it uh, points to a single object or uh, to an array and uh, difficult to know how to destroy means that its declaration uh, reveals nothing about whether you should uh, destroy what it points to when you are done using it if you determine that you should destroy what the pointer points to there is no way to tell how you should use delete or is there a different destruction mechanism like uh, any dedicated destruction function the pointer should be passed to and somehow if you manage to find out that uh, delete is the way to go it is not possible to know whether to use a single object form or the array form which is delete and bracket if you use the wrong form uh, results are undefined assuming you ascertain that the pointer owns what it points to and you discover how to destroy it it is very difficult to ensure that you perform the destruction exactly once along every path path in your code missing a path leads to memory leaks and doing the destruction more than once lead to undefined behavior now last point is dangling pointer issue so what is a dangling pointer dangling pointers arise when objects are destroyed while pointers still points to them so all these kinds of uh, disadvantages we have with raw pointers so, and we can overcome all these uh, disadvantages by using smart pointers in c++ so what is RAII? RAII stands for resource acquisition is initialization and it's a C++ technique which binds the life cycle of a resource that must be acquired before to the lifetime of an object. RAII guarantee that all resources are released when the lifetime of their controlling objects ends in reverse order of acquisitions. Likewise, if resource acquisition fails, all resources acquired by every fully constructed member and uh, base sub-objects are released in reverse order of initialization. So guys, in simple language, uh, you can understand it. It's a automatic, uh, atom, uh, uh, automatic uh, deletion of owned objects. Basically, it's use constructor and uh, destructor for creating object and destroying objects so it's very simple and powerful technique to manage resource so now third point is uh, we have specific pointers and simple in use so we have uh, three types of, of pointers for uh, a specific purpose uh, we will cover each of these pointers in details uh, so first pointer we have a uh, unique pointer second pointer we have shared pointer third pointer we have weak pointer now fourth pointer uh, i mentioned here auto pointer so basically it was part of c++ 98 and now deprecated in uh, c++ 14 so we will cover uh, each of these pointers in details
so smart pointers uh, are the objects that behave like a pointer but in very smart way using smart pointers we can make pointers uh, to work in a way that we don't need to explicitly call delete uh, as i mentioned in rai in my previous slide uh, uh, c++ uses uh, constructor and destructor in this technique to manage resources smart pointers uh, is a wrapper class uh, over a pointer with operator like star and arrow overloaded the objects of smart pointers class look like pointers but can do many things that a normal pointer can't like uh, automatic destruction as i mentioned in my previous slide so uh, these kinds of facilities and uh, functionality we have uh, associated with smart pointers so we will cover each and every functionality and each and every pointers uh, in details so guys thank you for watching this video please encourage me by subscribing this channel if you like this video then please uh, do click like button and share it with, uh, with your friends if you want me to create a video or any particular topic please comment for it thank you so much